Uh, I'm from Willits, California. I'm a, I'm a firefighter there. Uh, it's just a small community, small, close, tight-knit community in Northern California. We were just having a normal day. Skiing was a beautiful day that day. We were just kind of doing our normal family thing, just tootling around. I'd always, I'd do the typical ski ahead of them, and I'd wait and wait till they snowboarded down to me. Then I'd ski ahead again and, and wait for them. And, uh, I was getting a little late in the day and I talked him into making one more run. I wanted to make one more run personally because I, I like to ski. And so we went to the back side of the mountain and decided to make that, that run as long as we possibly could. And uh, as we we're skiing down the, the backside trail, I had skied ahead a couple of hundred yards and, and sat, to, sat there waiting for them. Well, in the background, I could hear uh, cry, cries for help. I waited there for a little bit for my, my daughter and her boyfriend to get there. and. Uh, as we, I asked them as they showed up to me, you guys hear that? And they said they did. So as we were skiing down the whole time, I wasn't skiing ahead of them anymore. I was kind of just list, staying right with them and listening to hear whereabouts this, these cries for help were coming from. I could hear the screams getting a little worse. By the time we had gotten there, it was probably you know two and a half, three minutes since we had, since I had first heard it. Uh, the cries were getting louder and louder for help and uh, getting a little more frantic. Just as I started to turn around, I was able to just see some fingertips of like a black glove pop up out of the snow and they'd go back away real quick. So I was cautious at that point. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, so I walked over towards this hole and when, that's when I seen the young man about nine feet down uh, in running water, struggling to, to get out, needing help. But, and I could get a hold of the, the, the young, guy, young man's uh, hand. And as I pulled him up out of the hole, it got to a point where it was pretty heavy and I asked Dup for Dustin's help and he reached down in and gave me, gave me some help and we pulled him up out of there. We knew at that point, or I knew from past medical experience that he was in, he was in trouble. I started to try to flag people down and try to get uh, some help to go get ski patrol, um, which I thought would be one of the easiest things that we could do that day, but we couldn't seem to get anybody to stop and help us. And uh, I could tell he was starting to get a little hypothermic and and uh, getting some warmth on him was, was a top priority at that point. And uh, luckily, a, a, an older gentleman stopped right next to us. Um, I said, sir, can you please go down to the next run and get ski patrol? And he uh, turned and looked at us and said, what for? I asked him nicely to just go right then uh, down to get ski patrol. Uh, we didn't have, I didn't have time to wait. It was probably another 10 or 15 minutes and ski patrol showed up. Anybody that's in the fire service that I've ever ran across would do exactly the same thing that I did. For me, it's hard to see it as heroic, but because I know that I know that everybody that I surround myself with would do exactly the same thing beyond the shadow of a doubt, and uh, I just feel lucky to be there at that time. Uh, my message would be as if if you hear somebody that's calling for help, um, take a take a second, just just take a second and go look. It could mean uh, it could mean somebody's life. It's real easy for people to just ski by, but it only takes 25 or 30 seconds to stop and see what's really going on. And uh, I think it's important for people to take the time and know that there's other human beings out there that may have fallen in a hole or, 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 or made some kind of a mistake. And um, if we can help them out, it, it, it sure makes you feel fulfillment in your heart when you do something like that. It's about feeling good about yourself and knowing that, that you've done the best you could.